news for the generation of now is NBC News Now. Well, a newly released book is addressing, addressing toxic relationships in an entirely new way. It's called Run Like Hell, a therapist's guide to recognizing, escaping, and healing from trauma bonds. The book is written by the ex-wife of the Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort. And joining us now on set, psychotherapist Dr. Nadine Macaluso. Nadine, thank you so much for joining us. This is a really important topic. Yes, very important. We've heard, I've heard of the term trauma bond, but what exactly does it mean? So basically, at its core, a trauma bond is a toxic, dysfunctional relationship. And what happens is that when you first meet this partner, they're loving and kind and warm. But then after time, the mask falls and they get manipulative, abusive, and cruel. And you're like, what has happened? What just happened? Yes. It feels like a train just hit you. <laughs> yes, You know, we, we heard the term narcissist a lot, but you also used another term here, pathological lover. What is the yeah. difference between a narcissist and a pathological? Lover. Well, a narcissist is simply somebody who's self-absorbed and entitled and is obsessed with their image, and they can be exploitative. They're centering themselves at all costs at all times. Completely okay. true. But a pathological lover, the way I say it, is someone who will use you, exploit, betray, and harm you hmm. to get their needs met for money, power, pleasure, and status. So how do you get out of a relationship like that? What are the steps? Well, I mean, first of all, you have to know you're in one. Hmm? Right? So... <laughs> Clap, snaps. Yeah. Snaps in the back. So yeah. that's why I defined, you know, really what it is. And then you need to get professional help mm. because it is... Uh, it, you really feel trapped in mm. a trauma bond. So you have to go to a therapist, get help, call a friend, because also in a trauma bond you're isolated. So you have to talk about it, release the shame, and ask for help. That's a really good point, because a lot of times you see in relationships like that, people, you know, the, the damaging party, we should call it, what tries yeah. to isolate you from your yes. friends, from your family, from yes. your support system. Yes. You talk about cognitive dissonance. Yes. What role does that play in a relationship like this? So cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort that the abused partner feels because she has two conflicting beliefs. Is he good? Is he bad? Is a relationship good or bad? Am I crazy or is he crazy? Right. So they're always confused, and it's actually the glue of the trauma bond. And it's that's one of the reasons it's very hard to get out of it. It's interesting because the way you define trauma bond, it sounds, you know, trauma can be seductive for some people, right? Trauma's like, oh, you, you think they're seeing the darkest part of me and they're loving it. How yes. can you tell whether someone's loving and acknowledging and, and being tender towards your trauma versus they're exploiting it for something deeper? Well, that takes time. And what happens is that as a relationship goes on, you notice that their words don't match their actions. They're mm. not actually being loving and kind like they were to you in the beginning. They start to get controlling there's and abusive and cruel. Yeah, there's a real change. And you feel that inside, and you have to listen to that gut. We have to uh, wrap it just a minute, but I do want to ask, I love how you ended Chapter 8 saying this. You said a trauma bond relationship is life-altering, not a life sentence. What did you mean by that? I meant that when you're in a trauma bond and you feel confused and hopeless and depressed and full of despair, there is hope on the other side. You can get out, you can recover, and you can grow and heal and go on to have another um, not another trauma bond, but a healthy relationship. A healthy relationship. Yes, yeah, We possible. wish for everyone. Yes. Dr. Nadine, this has been a wonderful discussion. Thank you so much for thanking the time and for sharing your expertise. Dr. Nadine Macaluso with us. Uh, check out her book, Run Like Hell. Stay with us. You're watching NBC News Daily.